Hey everyone, welcome to Camp Keyframe and in this video I'm going to tell you how to animate uh, this thing you're seeing right now, how to animate a writing text, how to write in a text in After Effects. So uh, let's open After Effects, yep here we go and I created this text, uh, it says nice with a cool writing font. Uh, I made it an illustrator and what I just did is, here is the font, I, I typed nice uh, it's the Susa Heavy for those of you, of you who want to know. And I right click on that and create outlines. And then right click again and ungroup. So I have these different letters. Yeah. And then I put them all in different layers right here and exported them to After Effects. And I have my, my background, my N, I, I, and the, and the dot, C, and the E. So now I'm going to start. Uh, animating this so let's first off let's uh, turn these ones off and let's lock them too I can, I can only see the N and what we're going to do is we're going to use trim path so we're going to draw a line over the letter make it a bit smaller okay oh. right here it doesn't have to be accurate or very beautiful it just needs to cover the whole letter so I can, can touch it up here and there to make it a bit more smooth. Then I can bump up the stroke width so it covers the whole letter. And I need to add a round cap to it. I have my butt capper, so I click that and also those. So now I need to touch it up so it covers the whole. Uh, I think 32 was great. All right, so that kind of fits. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open this up and add a trim paths effect. Open that one up, go to like one second, hit a stopwatch for the end point, which is right here, it's a hundred. Go back and drag that down to zero so you can see that the the line grows to zero. Okay. Give it a line nice little ease. Mm -hmm. Touch it up a bit. All right. Uh, right, that's not right. 100, please. Okay. Jesus. 100. Yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. So I'm going to put that one. Uh, let's call this N mat. Call, uh, put this above the letter N. And go to the letter N and go to the track mat options and then select alpha mat and then select your N mat layer. And now the N is only visible within this layer. It's, a, it's like a kind of a mask. So this thing grows out and it reveals our letter beneath. So that's a quick, easy way to animate a, a letter. I always like to cut them off right here so it starts within the movement and doesn't yeah a bit nicer so i'm going to do this for every letter right now oh. uh, yeah so i'll do this for every letter right now and then i'll see you back in a minute Okay, so I'm going to stop the time lapse right there because you see when I, I'm doing this E, uh, this happens. And that's because the line, the stroke width is too thick to only cover this part. It kind of overlaps. So what, what you need to do here is just to play with the stroke width and make it a bit smaller and hope it covers your whole E. Uh, let's just look at that for a minute. Turn off the... I'll turn on the alpha and uh, then turn on the opacity. Turn off the alpha. Yeah, so the E. So this is kind of shitty. Okay. 
to sh well, you can always just start it right there because you know, when the line or the lines intersect, uh, 27, it creates this it, it creates this ugly little corner that you don't want to see. So I'm just going to start the E right there instead of right here, which also looks perfectly fine. Okay, let's turn this up to 30 to cover the whole thing. Yeah, screw it, screw it. All right, so that's cool. Put opacity back up. Turn the mat back on. And let me see. I need to. So that little thingy sucks. All right. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Now we got it. Okay. So that's all of the letters. Let's just view all of them. Oh, I, only, I did not do the, the the dot of the eye. I'm just going to do that with a scale property. Scale to zero. Cut it off. Give it a nice ease. All right, so now what we want to do is offset these. So let's let the N start first, then the, let's turn this off with U, turn all my keyframes off. Then the I needs to go, like two frames after that, and then dotted I. Then the C, two, uh, two frames, and then the E, just to offset, offset them a bit. So we get a nice, a nice, ha <laughs> ha. Uh, effect uh, so you can play with the timing what, uh, however you like uh, this is fine for now uh, so what I'm going to do now is uh, group all these together so uh, select all of them right click and then pre-compose and I'm calling this a nice okay turn on this one uh, okay uh, what I'm going to do a cool little effect is to duplicate this right click it go to layer styles add a uh, color overlay and uh, choose a, mm, maybe maybe white. Put them uh, underneath your original layer, and just off. Just put them in like two frames first, so you get this nice effect. Wow! Oh my God! Lovely. Um, yeah. So that's it. You can do this with every kind of shape you want, just using the trim trim paths as your kind of mask. Uh, but be sure to uh, find a find a good font which you can use this for. Um, cool. Thank you very much. I hope to see you in the next one. I hope you learned something. Um, yeah. Bye bye. <laughs>